Let me ask the congressman, uh, and then I want to come back on this law, the question of laws, but what Professor Lamb, who was on before us, was telling me was that the students are unclear about what's illegal in the insider trading law, that they think it's fuzzy, they think there's a gray area, and I'm also told that some of the people who are being indicted will argue that the law is unclear. Is there, do you agree with that? Is the law deliberately gray? No, the law is not deliberately drawn to be unclear. Uh, criminals and good criminal lawyers will invariably say that the law is vague and ambiguous. Sometimes the juries and sometimes the courts will believe them. More often not. This law is, is I think, clear enough to inform anybody about the wrong that is proscribed. Uh, I would observe that that kind of conduct tends to indicate to me at least a shortening of the time between the time the individual graduates from business school and goes to jail. Uh, there are a number of things, though, that are going on up on the street. First of all, it has to be mentioned that there is a massive shift of the functioning of investment banking houses. Some of them have now found that about a third of their earnings go from arbitrage on, on takeovers. The Chinese wall between the takeovers, uh, between the arbitragers and the other people in the firm, uh, particularly the takeover and merger part of the firm, has been falling down. In one firm, the Chinese wall apparently went right through the middle of the navel of the person who was in charge of both arbitrage and uh, takeovers and mergers. Can you mandate against something like that, or should we? Or Well, let's put it this way. We can see to it that the pain level rises to a high enough point if he's caught that he's going to be much more careful. We can also see to it that the certainty of getting caught rises to a high level.